it's Shannon here for Better Than Takeout. Today we are going to make a rotisserie chicken using the Power Air Fryer. Um, this unit has been pretty disappointing so far, so we're going to kind of give it one last shot and see if this rotisserie chicken turns out good. So what we're going to do is we're going to rub it down with some Dijon mustard and then just season it with some Everglades seasoning and this mixture here of garlic, onion, black pepper, and sea salt. I'm going to use this tie to tie it up as tightly as possible so it doesn't fall out while it's cooking. I'm going to put the chicken skewer in and we're going to give it a go. So let me get everything prepared and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, well as you can see we've got the uh, chicken in the power air fryer oven. We've tied it all up, we've got it all ready to go, but we don't think that this thing is going to spin because you can see the size of the chicken versus the size of the air fryer oven and just so you know this is the extra large air fryer oven needless to say my husband said he's getting ready to go get the grill out so we'll see what happens so let's go ahead and get this thing closed we're going to set it on rotisserie by pushing that little button and we're going to set this thing for about 45 minutes. We'll keep checking it, of course, because I think it needs to at least take an hour while it's um, frying. But the first test is, is it even going to spin? And as you can see, it is not spinning. So, the rail is spinning, but the chicken is sitting there. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to have to turn this thing off. And it looks like this air fryer oven is going to be retired to the... Uh, boneyard because it just does not perform the way that that info marshal said it would basically a waste of two hundred dollars but hey whatever works for you anyway we're gonna go ahead and get this thing on the grill and um i'll show you what it looks like when it's done well look where we are guys we are out here with the traeger and we're gonna go ahead and put this chicken on there um, just so you guys know, we did put a little bit of butter on the inside to keep it extra moist along with our seasonings. We're still going to leave it tied up and we're going to hope that the Traeger does a better job than that air fryer, which we always know it will. So, we're going to leave this on here until we get to an internal temperature of 180 degrees and we will go from there. See you soon. Alright guys, we're back. We're at the halfway mark. It looks like our internal temperature is around 124 degrees. My husband just put a nice base on it. He used a mixture of some apple cider vinegar along with sweet baby rays, sweet golden mustard, and sticky fingers uh, Carolina barbecue sauce. It's all mixed together. Baste it on there. This chicken is looking amazing and we're going to continue to let it marinate. See you soon. Alright guys, take a look at this. We are almost where we need to be. We're about 160. We're going to get it up to 165 looking really good nice and juicy nice and colorful uh, doing a great job with this Traeger unlike the air fryer so we're gonna keep on trucking and we will show you the finished product as soon as we're ready see you soon all right guys we are up to temperature we're gonna get this thing off this Traeger go ahead and take it in the house just want to show you this finished product here you know what we always say why go to a restaurant and spend your hard-earned money when you can make something this amazing at home in the comfort of your own home and you'll have leftovers for dinner and it'll be better than takeout. If you like our videos, subscribe to our channel and hit like and we will see you soon.